All right, so let's get us our freshly charged battery. You can see that it's been sitting here on the trickle charge for a couple weeks probably, just sitting here. And yeah, look at that red. 13 volts, just been sitting here, hanging out, ready to go. So let's pick up our battery and head in and put this dog in. All right, peoples, we're gonna have to assemble the little bit of the back plastics here so we can put the battery in, hook up the solenoid, and all right, let's do it. All right, so basically what we're gonna have to do is pick these up and slide this guy through here. And then these guys will drop down and we'll line everything up. And we'll get us hooked up down here. There's that for now. All right, now that we got the rear fender on and we got all of this stuff hooked up right here and we have the, uh, the grab bar hooked up here. We have these little tabs that come out and once we get the fenders on, if you're lucky enough to have these tabs on your rear fenders, which I am, thank God, uh, I actually did not have these originally, and I bought two of these YFZ450s. These are actually from a 2005, but they had the tabs. So yeah, I'm lucky enough to own a set of plastics OEM that have the tabs on here still. So yeah, that's why this works. Uh, little bolts that have like little built-in grommets on them slide through and a washer, and there we go. Ready to rock and roll. All right. All right, so we just get these out of the way, and then our battery drops in like this. Positive on this side, negative on this side, facing forward. And we just slap that dog right on in there. Perfect. All right, now we can hook up our terminals to the battery before we put the top on here so yep we got us a brand new positive cable here from Yamaha so obviously that guy is going to go on there I think it goes this direction comes on out of there so let's uh now you want to take one of your uh, little square nuts take your square nut Put it into the the hole. We well, got kind of a magnetic screwdriver here, so we can uh, hopefully pull the nut up. And just like that. Now this is going to have to come over the top because this guy is going to come up like this. And this, oh, that's perfect. This is what we want right there. It's going to go onto the solenoid. Next, we got us our negative cables here. And we're just going to slam this down here. And we're going to do the same thing with this. But you want to first put your square nut underneath. Oh no. Okay. Woo! That was close. I almost dropped it. That would have sucked. All right. And then this goes like so. Then our magnetic screwdriver really helps. Yes, it does. Okay, that's where that stuff goes. And now, this is gonna go into the slot. This, actually, I think uh, 
We'll put this into the slot first, and then we'll put this in there. This is what's gonna happen. That's all gonna go in the slot down here. And then, we have the battery bracket. Now you wanna be careful, because this is hot right here. You don't wanna to touch that. Uh, that would not be cool. Actually, it's not grounded, so I guess in this case it really wouldn't matter right now, but we don't wanna do it yet. But anyway, so let's uh, pluck that. First, let's do this. Let us put this into there. And then these face forward. And then let us put this where it belongs. And let's put this into the hole, boom, and then this guy just goes down here, and now we have our solenoid with our 215 amp fuses, brand spanking new, this side is your hot side right here, this side is just a spare, doesn't have any connection whatsoever. So you want to test this side to make sure that it's all good, but these are brand spanking new, already tested. So, what's going to happen is, get you out of the way for a second. It's just going to sit right on to the, these little uh, rubber grommets here, or this little rubber slots are going to sit right on to there. Just like that. So now we got these guys right here. And the way they're gonna work is, they need to go behind and underneath here. And so, let's put them through here. And then this is going to clip into the solenoid. Boom. And then this guy wraps around and it's got a little slot right here that sticks onto this guy right here. Boom. So then it goes just like so. All right. And now our solenoid, we have a, the positive is going to hook onto this side. And then this wire here goes to the starter. So it is going to also come underneath here you can see it's been bent right there and then it bends around and it hooks into this side of the solenoid so we can do that let's hook this guy up we don't have anything grounded or anything hooked up anyway so yeah you know what, let's, let's bolt this guy down now. There's nothing else that belongs up here. All this stuff is where it goes. So let's get the bolts in here, just so we can have uh, some room to work with. Now let's put this back so we don't lose it, because that sucks when you lose bolts. <laughs> All right, so we got these size bolts, 10 millimeters. Just got one here. And one here. Let's just uh, We don't want these too tight or anything because you'll strip these out and that's not cool. And we're not tightening these for real anyway, so that's good for that for now. Let's get uh, this guy hooked up so we can get it out of the way. This is where this belongs. And these bolts are eight millimeters. Well, 
we want it off the, you don't want it into your fuse there. <laughs> so let's twist it a bit so that it gets off the fuse. There we go. All right, and then this guy, that's another reason why you don't want it on the fuse because this needs to go over the top and you need enough room for the, the rubber to fit down in there. So there you go. And then the positive will hook onto here, which we can do also, I guess, because we don't have it grounded yet anyway, so we shouldn't have any, uh, nope, we don't have any worries. So let's just hook this guy up too. Then we won't have a positive wire just kind of dangling around out there. All right, and then this guy, of course, gets booted up like so. And that's all there is to that. This is what's gonna happen here is this is our solenoid. So we got positive coming in this side. This wire right here comes out, goes down to our starter. So when you hit the switch up there on the handlebars, it closes the connection here and it cracks the starter. And our fuses right here. Technically, we got one, we already went through that. And that's the way we should look up here. And this little piece right here goes inside, not outside, goes inside so that it can uh, keep this and it fits in that little slot that's inside of your battery. And then these little rubber grommets snug down on top of the battery and keep it from moving. So there we go, we're buttoned down. And oh yeah, I put this bolt in too. This is the bolt that uh, holds the, the back fender on here. And yeah, so we're bolted down. Let's move on. Now that we've got the battery secured all in there and stuff, and we got the wires out of the way, this guy right here is gonna plug in to the air box. What do you know? We have the air box. But it looks like, all right folks, check this out. When I removed it off the machine, had these little uh, holes drilled into it that have little air cleaners or little air filters inside of them. And the ones that were in there were so destroyed and gross. And they sell these things, they sell replacements and all that. It's like 15, 20 bucks or something. But I found a way that you can get a bunch of these little things made for a small amount of money and a little bit of work. So. Yeah, check it out. So on Amazon, I found this little guy, which is made for a Honda generator, I guess. It's just an air filter, so it's just this. It's just a piece of foam. And guess what we're gonna do? I figured out that I could use my little hole drill, remove the drill out of it, take the drill part, the center piece out, and voila, we have a perfect circle. So we just drill a hole right there, and then this makes three. Since it's so thick, it's thick enough for three of these dogs. And we got two left to do, so we need one more plug. So let's get to it, and I'll show you how we're gonna roll. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take our fine uh, drill here with our little guy on it, and we're gonna, just gonna plug us a little hole. Watch this, you just gotta, basically you wanna get it started first. <laughs> going fast and then just slowly drop it on here because if you try to start like this, you'll rip it and shit like that and that ain't cool. So, what I can do is get it started here first. So let's get it going. And now I'll cruise over here, spread it off the side. <laughs> That's what I mean. You don't want to start it like that, but now we're good. And there you go. Now you got yourself a perfect, uh, a perfect plug. So then what we do All right, and I'll check this out. 
Now we mark this guy. I say one there, one there, in the vicinity. And then we cut it in three pieces. So then we take it. And then we cut this one in half. Boom, and now we have three little pieces that go into our air cleaner. See, now they just fit right in here. And we got one more, we got one there. So see, then we just plunk these guys right in there. Boom, there we are. And we can just, the way this is gonna work is this guy is going to slam right on through here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the way it's supposed to work. So this guy slams through there. I said there. And it just sits like that. Voila. And then you will take your little hose and your little clamp and stuff, put that in there, but I don't have that ready and I'm not ready to do that all that anyway. But that's how we take care of that. All right, so the air box takes these little guys right here. So it takes a bolt and a collar and the collars just fit right in to those and the bolts just go right into the little bolt holes. What? I know, I know. <laughs> So what I do usually is I put the, the collars in first because then you can slide around the air box and get the holes to line up. So I put these back ones in first usually. And then, there we go. We can just maneuver this little guy where it needs to go. Like we got one right here. And we got one right here. bolt holes right here we need we could put these on now but we got another piece of plastic to cover let's get the front plastics on boom and then we can come back and wrap it up by hitting these guys all right fellas next we're gonna hook us up the front end uh, pieces here and uh, finish out the electrical and we're gonna hook the front bumper up so yeah, so check out this dog, woo, -hoo. pretty slick. Kind of goes with the, it's kind of looking, you'll, you'll figure the paint scheme out here uh, shortly once we get going here, but it's gonna be red, white, and blue basically. Uh, but I'm gonna have like white skulls on the side and some blood with red. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool looking. But anyway, if you wanna go back and check out the episode where I did the graphics, you can check it out right here. Uh, all right, so let's get the bumper on. The reason why I'm doing the bumper right now, I got the headlights too, and we're gonna hook those up. Brand new, actually they're brand new used, but they're off of a 2020 model, so they're pretty new. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna do the bumper here first because most of the time when you guys are working on your stuff, you don't have the luxury to have all this beautiful like this and stuff. You got a bumper hanging out, and so I'm gonna put the bumper on Put it in the way so that you guys can see what everything looks like, um, you know, working around a bumper and stuff. So anyway, let's get that baby hooked up. So all it is is four bolts. There's uh, two right there. And then there's two right here. So four bolts. And of course, we're going to blue Loctite them. Let's ride the locker blue. Right 
All right, and then we'll start. I'll start by putting in, uh, see these are kind of slotted, which is kind of handy. And I'll start with putting this bottom one in. Just barely. And then I'll go up here and I'll put in this uh, guy on this side. And then we'll come down here to the bottom on this side. And we'll finish it off with this guy. Boom! And then we'll have to see how this thing rolls. I think we want it all the way out. So we'll go like this. All right. And then these bolts have a torque spec of 22 foot-pounds. So let's get her done. Twenty-two. We'll come down here. Twenty-two. And we'll hit this guy. Twenty-two. And the last guy. 22 and there we go we're bumpered up now let's get us some headlights and some front plastics on there all right so check this out in order for us to put the headlights on they're gonna put this is this is where the headlights go they go into these little black ones so the one bolts one uh, one goes into this guy and the other one is this guy right here but in order for us to put the headlights on we must put the front plastics on first now why Yamaha did that I have no idea but if you want to take the front plastic, I guess probably because the front plastics uh, don't usually get removed, I guess, technically. The headlights could get removed to replace a light, and you don't want to have to take the plastics off. So I guess that's good. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Anyway, uh, in order for us to put the headlights on, we need to put the front plastics on first. Because there's a, there's a bolt right here. These two bolts on the top of this guy are for the front plastics and the headlight uses these little jobby doos right here uh, with your little grommet right here. I guess it's like that. Yeah, see, it's kind of just slides in there like so. And then there's another bolt that goes into this guy right here. And you must get the wires out of the way first and all that good stuff. Uh, anyway, oh, this is also your ignition. Sorry about that. While we're doing wiring, this is our ignition, so let us just get that plugged in as long as we're sitting here. So all that is, is this is our key, our fine uh, Yamaha key, which I have this ordered. I, I don't like it when the keys are like that. I like that black piece that's on there. It makes it look cooler. <laughs> but you can order just the black piece. So yeah, I got that on order. Uh, anyway, so what happens here is this just spins off and then it sticks in the side of the plastic. It's pretty simple. But let's plug it in while we're sitting down here. So white to white. Imagine that. Woo! Boom. Now we got our ignition hooked up. So we're going to get that out of the way. And before we do anything, we're going to have to assemble some plastics because I have brand new OEM plastics. Check this out. Woo! Brand Spanking new OEM. Yeah, so we're gonna have to put a few pieces together on here. So let's get to town. All right, so check it out. Here's what we got. We got our brand new uh, warning temperature light and our neutral light to go up in here. And we have our brand new wires for the neutral light and the temperature light right there. And I robbed the clip off of an old one that I had, an old piece of pla old plastic that I have <laughs> that goes underneath it here. And 
we have the bolts and the little clips that go on the ends of here. And wait for it. Most important piece of all. Oh, we got the badge for the front, which I just dropped. But we're going to put that on last because we're going to bolt this sucker down first so that that'll give us a firm, you know, working space for that emblem. So anyway, let's get to town. So first, we're going to flip this guy. And, all right, so I've technically never done this before, so here we go. We're going to plug these guys into there, into these holes, and then... I would imagine, <laughs> this is how I imagine it works. I did this on my 400EX, kind of, I guess. But they got little lips right here. And then these have little, uh, they have little lips on the ends also. So, what I imagine happens, well, you gotta match up the right ones first. So, the blue is neutral. And this, uh, solid white this is the temperature so the blue neutral is going to go on this side and so we're going to put it in the hole you know what we're going to do all right to make this easier we're going to use us some dielectric grease not a lot well it is broken just enough that's on the cap, I guess. <laughs> so, we're doing the neutral, that's blue. So let's just take a little bit of this on our finger. And just put it right along here. Just enough to give it a tiny bit of lubrication. That's what she said, woo! <laughs> Just a little, you don't want a lot of this because this is gonna attract dirt, grime, and all kinds of stuff. But we just want a little bit on there to help it go through, but not enough where it's gonna, you know, make it sloppy. That's also what she said, woo! <laughs> all right. All right, so, well, we might as well just do the other one as long as we're here. All right, so let's just get this guy a little bit. This will also protect it. All right. So now, very important. The blue and the white go into this first slot right here. So let's uh, pluck that guy through. There we go. See how much easier that was? And then we can put this one in also. Boom. So much easier. All right, and then this guy goes up this direction. This little clip right here, so the way it works is your wires go inside of the clip like so. There. Make sure they all go inside of there. And then this guy just sticks into the side of there, just like so. And then you can adjust it however you need. I think I just adjusted it upside down because I think this slot right here is supposed to be on the outside. So let's try that again, shall we? Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta try stuff again. So, you take us a little bit of pliers. And you don't wanna ruin this tab because uh, then you won't have a tab any longer and that sucks. All right. So then, we take this back out of there and we make sure that this is going to be sitting like that. So what we did, oh, I see what we did. Damn it. <laughs> So, let's pull this back out and go through 
Hey, hey, now we're cooking with some gasoline. And put it back in. And do you think it goes in easy like it did the first time? No. Uh, what the hell? There. There. See, now, when we get this together, And we plunk the go with this direction. And now, if we get it like this, come up here, and we stick it through. There we go. Now we have the the opening on the outside. That's what we want right there. So now, as you can see, we have the openings. And since the neutral was on that side, now it's over here since I flipped it. What we do now is we plunk down the neutral light into there. And then we take our temperature Boom! Look at that! Brand spanking new! Woohoo! And we'll adjust these on final, uh, final resting place because who knows when I plug the clip in, it might move and all that good stuff and we'll adjust them whenever we get everything situated. But yeah, as long as we're here. Now, we also have a couple of little, well they're on my headlight, cool. We have a couple little clips. The way this works is this, uh, the raised end points down. So they just slam on like so. Pretty simple. There we go. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, now we can put our front plastics on. And it is going to bolt up with two bolts for right now actually it's gonna have three on each side but for right now we're gonna do the, the top two that we need to get taken care of because one of them goes behind the headlight so here's the deal you're gonna need four of these these guys right here and they have they have a bolt a rubber grommet like so. Well, yeah. All right, so you're gonna need a rubber grommet like this, and then you're gonna need a collar that goes inside the rubber grommet, and then the bolt. So you have four sets, or you have, yeah, four sets of these. And anyway, so one of them is going to go right here on this top bracket and one of them is going to go onto this top bracket right here. So those two bolts right here in these two bracket spaces are going to fit onto this tab and this tab. Without further ado, let's get these out because obviously they're not gonna work in there <laughs> when I try to put it on. What we do is we take these top tabs right here, this one and this one, and we line it up with this and this. Whoosh. Boom. Stretch it out and let it go like, like so. And then if it falls, it's cool, because we'll put the bolts in. <laughs> All right, so we get it back up where it belongs. Boom. So we've got one bolt up here. Get it started. And then the other bolt goes right into this little, see how the, the big circle? That's where this big ass grommet goes in, so. Boom. And then these bolts right here, we're just gonna snug them down for right now because we're probably gonna be taking all this stuff back apart again, but you know, we're just putting all this together for you know how all this stuff works. Boom. And then 
Uh, we'll do the same to the other side, but as long as we're sitting right here, let's just go ahead and hook up the headlight and you can see how all that works. These headlights do matter, by the way. You can see right here, it says L. They have a left and a right. So you wanna make sure you get the left on the left side and the right on the right side, otherwise you're good, you ain't gonna work. <laughs> so they kinda of sit like this. So you just gotta remember kinda of what they look like, the orientation, and then that'll help you uh, install them. So the way this works is you got a little rubber grommet right here. This one that's sticking out goes over the top of this ridge right here. We would, uh, we'll grease, put a little bit of grease on here, uh, put these on here so that they don't get corroded up. These will probably last pretty long though because this powder coating is nice protection right there. But anyway, hey, that, <laughs> check it out. That is our neutral light. So I think that is supposed to go under all of this stuff, I believe. Maybe not, because look, the way it was before, that was over the top of it. So this thing just goes right like so. Boom! Wow, imagine that. I probably could have went under. I think I might. Let's go under. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so we're hooked up there. And then we hook up our headlight into here. And these are triangles, so you gotta find uh, the matching little uh, clippy do right here. That's gonna go into your slot right here. Just like that. And the way they work is, now in order for us to put the headlight on, we need to put this bracket on. And there's two of these, one on each side, and they do matter how they go. So the way you can tell how it goes, and by the way, here's the other long bolt with the washer on it. The bracket's gonna face like this. So this curved end right here is going to go up. And then there is a hole right here in the bracket, and there is a notch in the frame right here. And what do you know? The hole is going to fit over the notch and it's gonna keep it firm. So what we're going to do here, these brackets are not coming back off again. So we are going to blue lock tight these little bolts that hold the bracket on. So they're 10 millimeter bolts. So the way this works, the bolt goes in this way. The bracket has, right next to the hole, it has a welded on nut on the back. And if you don't have one of those, you probably just got a nut and a bolt. That'll work also. Mine has the handy dandy little uh, contraption like it's supposed to have, so boom. You're gonna line up the hole with the notch, and then you're gonna come from this side with the bolt. Anyhow, whoa, 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 Mr. You gotta decide to go in the right direction to tighten, not loosen. That always helps also. And now with the Loctite on there, we don't need to like jam it, but ah, just nice and tight. There you go. And now, after we got the headlight plugged in, again, it's gonna face this direction. So this little grommet right here it's going to go into this little notch right here. So let's get that baby right on started in there. Boom. And then we get the wires up out of the way. And then one of these bolts goes right up here. Just like so. And then the other bolt is going to go into that little place where we just put it, which is uh, easier said than done sometimes. There. Well, that one worked out pretty good. And we're gonna have to probably do some stuff with the headlights, so I would probably Loctite these also, but I'll probably take these back off again at some point. But yeah, I wanna make sure that guy 
I think I'm missing something there. Oh yeah. Ah uh, yeah. See, there's supposed to be a collar in here and huh, I don't have it. So, note to self, we're gonna have to order myself up a collar. So you need a collar in there, otherwise you're just gonna smash that rubber and uh, you know, it's just gonna not work out proper. We're gonna put it in here for now. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down this time. I'm just gonna get her snug like a bug in a rug with a jug. <laughs> there we go. So that's what you should look like. Boom. Now we do the same to the other side. Exactly the same process. No different. Put the bracket on. Uh, no, put the bolts in the plastic. Put the bracket on. Put the headlight grommet in here. And then put the two bolts on. And that's that. Uh, plug in the headlight, of course. <laughs> All right. Let's get the other side done. And we got one more thing to do on the other side, so let's, let's do it. All right, now on this side, the other side here, we can't put the headlight in yet. We have one more little thing we need to do here, and that's our ignition. So we already plugged it in, white into white, right here, the uh, long side of the headlight clip. And then it's gonna go right up in this little hole right here. So we have this little, uh, little spinner on there. And then of course it rolled as far away as possible, because that's the way uh, shit works. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, there's a little notch cut in the top right here, and there is a little notch in the top of this right here, and that notch is going to go into the notch. And then we'll screw that little uh, nut back on if I can find it. <laughs> all right, where'd it go? Hey, all right, here it is. Boom, just like so. See the little notch in your plastic? Just goes right up to the top, and then, you just spin this guy on. The one thing I wish I did have, which I don't have, is some plastic Loctite. Because I don't want that coming off. I don't really think they do come off that often. But, uh, you know, we don't want it to come off anyway. You don't want to over tighten this guy because you will strip the hell out of these plastic threads. You just want to get that baby good and, uh, good and tight. That's probably good right there. I don't want to be screwing around. And then your key. With our fine handy dandy. All right, peoples. Look at that. That's looking awesome. Uh, we got one last step we got to do here, though. What? Oh, yeah. We got to put the, the fine looking emblem on there. See if I can get that to you. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. So what we're going to do is... Uh, Use some glass cleaner. I'm gonna clean the whole thing off anyway. Make it look beautiful. But we definitely want that, that spot right there to get all the, all the grease and grime and stuff off of there. And this comes from the factory with adhesive already on it. All right, so you want it to go just like this with one of these arrows pointing straight up and down. Let's just peel this sucker off. Don't touch that uh, adhesive now. And we'll try to get that smack dab into the center, which is going to be interesting. I might have to get in the way here because this is more important. My emblem is more important than you guys. <laughs> so I don't care if you see it or not, exactly. But we need to put that like right. There it is. All right, there's the final touch. So technically now what we would do is we would put this guy in like so. It goes like this, right? And then this would clamp on there. And then this, the wire harness, goes up into it like so. And then this clamps on, but we're not going to do that right now because we still got the engine to put in and all that good stuff. But that's where this would go. And then there would be a little clip right there. Another one on the other side. But just for uh, making this thing 
look pretty cool. What we're gonna do, what we're going to do is put on, we're telling we have a gas tank and then you'll never know. <laughs> so that's the way this would work, is this guy comes up, so there's a little clip right here that goes into this little slot and it goes over the top of that. <clears throat> like so. And then those little tabs that we just put on there, they get a little Allen bolt like this guy. So let's just get these in there. Boom. There we go. And that's the way that would look. -wee. And then these little tabs right here, there's another piece of plastic. Let's see what we can do. All right, folks, check it out. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing all this, but I am anyway, because it makes it look cool. But we still got the motor to do, and we are going to get into the motor on the very next video after this one. So, let's just finish up the cosmetics here, and uh, we're obviously going to have to take this back apart again, but let's just finish it up, make this thing a full-on roller, make it look badass, and then, next video, let's get this motor built back up again, yeah. We'll have to get into that for sure. All right, so the reason why we had one more bolt here on this, there's a bolt that goes here on this bracket onto here. But in order to get this plastic in, we need to slide up through here. So take the skinny part of your plastic right here and go right up on through here and get off the tire and slide up on through here. Boom. And then we got these clips right here, these notches go into these little slots. And there's two notches here that go into these slots out here, right here. <laughs> so you gotta get all that. And then there's two bolts. And then there's one in the back, but we'll get to that one. So what I like to do sometimes is, well, whichever way it kind of just works. So we first get this guy where it belongs. Like right there. There, that's where that guy goes. So now we're lined up on here. So let's put those slots in. And then let's put these slots in. Look at that. And now, and now these bolts have like a like a washer built in and a they're kind of like a grommet washer bolt. <laughs> that's what I call them. They're all built in to one. So they are going to go right into that hole right there. Let's get that one started. And then, of course, there's one. Then there's one right down here. I don't know if you can even see it, but you have to take my word for it. Another one of these guys, and it goes right into what? The hole. <laughs> All right, and that brings us back to this rear bolt right here, where I said before, where we have to wait on the rear plastics. And here we are. So this guy gets a bolt and a little collar, kind of like the uh, air box. And what you do is you slide these up and you get them matched up. To the hole, boom. Boom, there you go. And now we can do the other side. And then right here, you will have a couple little plastic clips that I'm not gonna clip in there right now because the more you take them in and out, the worse they get and I have a brand new set and we're only gonna put those in once. Well, we're going to put them in a million times probably, but only once during this build. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's do the other side. All right, folks. It's looking like something. Yeah. Now we get the seat on there. And the way this works is this little notch right here. It sticks underneath this little notch right here. And then this guy just latches into the back of here. So... 
and put it into that little slot and then boom. Here we are. And there we go. Woo! Wait till we get graphics on this thing in an engine. That's always a good uh that's a good plus to have an engine. <laughs> and I got new tires too. We got the new tires. They're out in the garage. They've been sitting there just waiting to be ready to go. Finally got those front plastics assembled. Yeah, look at that. That is looking sweet. Oh, well, we got one more thing. Before we can call this thing a roller, well, we actually need to put a wheel on there, huh? <laughs> but that thing's ready to go. All I got to do is just put the wheel on there. But before we can call this thing a roller, we're going to need to stand on some foot pegs, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Check it out. What? Yeah, we got us some Nerf bars, but we're going to have to uh, assemble a few things. So first off, we are going to need our bracket. So it's going to sit right here, and it's got two bolts, and we're going to blue Loctite them, and they get torqued to 22 foot-pounds. All right, so a little bit of blue Loctite. Twenty-two. 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 All right, we're bracketed up. And now this guy is going to work with the Nerf bars. Let's get that hooked up. All right, so the first thing we need to do with these Allen Nerf bars is install us our foot peg. And we are going to blue Loctite the bolts and they get torqued to 48 foot-pounds. So let's get it done. All right, so the Nerf bar foot peg goes this direction. This little cut right here goes at the top. So that way, the foot peg can butt up against it. All right, and then these bolts get torqued to 48 foot-pounds. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. All right. Then we got a, a bolt with a spacer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the foot peg right on here, like so, and we're gonna put the bolt through. Well, actually, we're gonna have to get this out of the way. <laughs> we got stuff in the way here. Of course we do. All right, and then this is gonna slide on like so, and it's gonna go right in there. And then this guy. We're gonna put the spacer on the back. Like so. All right. And then there will be a bolt that goes through here. But we're not going to put that in right now. And that's really all there is to that. And obviously, we're not going to do anything with that right yet because we got to get a motor in here. But we do have this. So then this guy will go through all of them. It'll go through, uh, I can get it there right now. It'll go through the plastic. There we go. There we go, I kinda just wanted to get it started. So there we are. That's how that's gonna bolt up to everything. And then we'll be rock solid. Yeah, fellas, look at that. We got our red accents going with the bumper and the Nerf bars. Got our plastics. Man, it's looking good. 
There's another wheel over there. We need to get the tires put on and an engine in there and we'll be rocking and rolling. And once again, we got that, uh, we got that sprocket guard fixed on the outside. They're both on the outside now because the sprocket wouldn't line up if it was on the outside. So had to move it. Got that fixed last video. All right. So I'm going to do the other side of these Nerf bars. I'll get the wheel on here. We'll set her down and take a look and see what we got. Woo! -hoo. Check that out, peoples. Yeah. So we got the Nerf bars hooked up. We got our bumper hooked up. We got our headlights. And we got our front plastics on. Look at those beautiful son of a bitches. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. Man, that thing is going to look sweet, and I can't wait to ride it. But we got one more thing that we need to do before we can ride it, and it's pretty important. Yeah, look at that big old empty space right there. We're going to have to get a motor up in this thing. Ooh, look at that. That thing looks awesome. Yeah. All right, we've got a couple of things we're going to do, but most important... Next episode, we are going to start putting this motor in here. Oh, I can't wait to rip this thing. Woo-hoo. So, yeah. So, you know what time it is. Until the next episode when we start building this motor and getting this power plant in here. You know what time it is. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Woo! -hoo.